510 with a 70 inch reach. Cologne, 5'8, 68. Here are the California rules being used tonight. No three knockdown rule, no standing eight count. You can be saved by the bell in the last round. The doctor or the referee can stop the fight. Here is Joe Martinez. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Next battle tonight, four rounds this scheduled in the lightweight division. And ready to make his way to the ring first. Fighting out of the blue corner from Puerto Rico, here is Nelson Colón. Nelson Colon coming off a win over Edmark Denton, a third round knockout in May of 2019. His lone loss was to an undefeated prospect named Daniel Long in Long's hometown of Cincinnati. Long still undefeated to this day. Malone actually has a bout scheduled two weeks from today, 14 days in Florida against another undefeated fighter. So if he loses this bout tonight, it's unlikely that his suspension will be lifted in time for him actually to take part in that fight. But if he wins tonight, all is well, Sergio. And he has the power to do it. I mean, he has a big punch, especially in the left hook, three knockouts and four wins. Anytime you got power, you got that eraser on your corner. And his opponent ready to make his way to the ring out of the red corner from Mexico, Baja California, Mexico, Alejandro Reyes. And this is where Sergio dances. <laughs> there we go, the man they call Pinfon, Alejandro Reyes, 2 0, 2 knockout for Mexicali. You know that I started boxing in Mexicali. I got my nose broken there for the first time in Mexicali, Mexico. And it probably won't be the last. <laughs> Pinpon, as he's known, had roughly 83 amateur bouts. Fought in the Junior Olympics. Has had plenty of time sparring with contenders Chris Avalos and Manny Robles leading up to this bout. He is all smiles. Good looking kid. Just 20 years old, 2-0 with two knockouts. He called tonight one of the biggest nights of his life. Alejandro Pimpon Reyes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go once again. This battle is scheduled for four rounds in the lightweight division. Your three judges scoring at ringside, Rudy Baragar, Carla Caiz, and Max DeLuca. And your referee in charge of the action at the sound of the bell, Eddie Hernandez. Introducing to you first, fighting up the blue corner. Wearing white trunks, he weighed officially 133 and three quarter pounds. His professional record, outstanding with four victories. One defeat, three wins, coming by way of knockout. Hailing from and fighting out of Calle, Puerto Rico. Here is in Boricua, Nelson Colón. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing blue, trimmed in white, he weighed in 134 and one half pounds. In two professional fights, he is perfect with two victories. Both wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando el hijo invicto de Mexicali, Baja California, Mexico, Alejandro Pimpón the nickname Pinpon comes from a Mexican nursery rhyme. When he was younger, he had trouble falling asleep, so they'd always play ping pong to help him fall asleep, and the nickname stuck for the rest of his life. Nelson Colon from Puerto Rico, 23 years old. Four wins, three coming by KO. Ping pong, wearing the blue, Cologne in the white. Work out, guys. Work out. Alejandro Reyes, Sergio, 
was originally scheduled to be a, on the fight, kind of the, they call it the curtain jerker, the first fight of the night, but he sold so many tickets, had such a great response, they said, you know what, let's give this kid a little more limelight, and here he is. Yes, uh, it's always exciting when you're the swing bout or you're the opening bout, because, you know, you're, 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 you're making your bones there, but for you to get TV time, it's totally unexpected, so he definitely wants to shine. Does it feel a little different in the ring when you know that you're being seen by a bigger audience when you're a popular ticket seller and you sold as many tickets as ray is absolutely because the people are going to get to see you under the bright lights and on the camera reyes has power in both hands good shot there by yeah pinball's down no they're going to call it a slip or a push but there was a punch that got his attention it seemed a left hook from cologne and that's what i said on the opening of the telecast todd cologne has a nice left hook it seems like puerto ricans are born with a left hook and we just saw it right there Reyes was rock and you can see he's holding on right now always a smart thing to do when you're in a bit of trouble a lot of people get remind reyes reminds a lot of people of virgil ortiz jr like i said but he needs to he needs to have the patience of, of an ortiz jr the head movement Keep that chin down a little bit more and fight behind power jabs. Pinfall says he trains six days a week, runs in the morning, takes his sister to school, then heads to the boxing gym to finish out his day. There's a cut over the right eye of Nelson Cologne, which I'm sure now means he won't be fighting in two weeks, no matter what happens here. That's a good point, Todd. Normally, you get suspended by the commission at least 30 days, depending on the cut. Well, one twos there from Reyes. Did your mother used to say sing ping pong to you growing up as a small child? No, I never heard that song. Yeah. She sang it like cucaracha to me. <laughs> People still call you that, don't they? <laughs> Good left hook that caught in there, but here comes Cologne firing back, and we may have a good scrap on our hands. No, we have a good scrap on our hands because Reyes no, 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 missed with a big left hook right there, but Cologne came yeah. back with his as well. Both missed, but both look picture perfect. See, Reyes is punching hard with every punch. See, right there, and it makes it easy for Cologne to counter. He's going to be concentrating on speed instead of power right now. Even if in a, even in a four-round fight. Good opening round between Alejandro Reyes and Nelson Cologne. Mark, red corner, head butt, right eye. Here's where Reyes went down, Sergio. Let's see what you think here. Some good body shots there, but we didn't get to see when he actually went down. But the corner in Spanish was telling their man that it was a push, and yeah, that looked kind yep. of like a half punch, half push, but it should have been a no knockdown right call. So we're starting here, round two. Cologne right on the offensive. Cologne from Calle, Puerto Rico, a mountain town. Most famous athlete, Christian Cologne, no relation, who famously had the World Series winning hit for the Kansas City Royals in 2015. He's now with the Cincinnati Reds, but maybe Nelson Cologne can start getting more popular, especially if he picks up a win here tonight over the prospect Reyes. Cologne just looking for that left hook. He's straight. Reyes with that left hook right there, but Cologne doing, see, right there. That's all he's looking for. He's looking just to land that left hook in the middle of Reyes' punches. It'll serve Reyes right to fight behind the jab, get some distance between them, because right now Cologne is just looking to counter anything on the inside of Reyes. Just like that. In a four-round fight, Sergio, you cannot take time to feel your opponent out. You can't rest around. You gotta go hard. 
all three minutes of every round. Yeah, you can go hard, but with distance between you, fight with a jab, fight outside. When you punch and dip, don't don't make, don't stand there as a target. Don't take a picture or pose, as we say in boxing. But just like that. See, he went to the body and then he dipped down, expecting a punch to come back. That's what Reyes needs to do more of. Reyes is throwing everything with power. That's what his trainer told us he was going to do yesterday, but it also makes him predictable. To Sergio's point, and it seems that Cologne has figured him out at least a little bit. We'll see if Reyes can mix things up as they both go downstairs. See, when you're throwing everything with power like that, it may look good and sound good, and, and of course, that's what you want to do. You want to hurt your opponent. But if you're taking those shots as, as the opponent, you're blocking and biting your time just looking for the right opening, which you are going to find. Let's bring in our Hall of Fame referee who joins us on the broadcast, Steve Smoger. What do you make of that cut? What did you hear from the referee, Steve? Uh, accidental headbutt, and uh, California has a unique rule. At the start of the fourth round, if it's stopped, they do go to the cards. Not so in other states. Very good wrinkle in the California rule. They want to make get a winner even in a four-round fight. We'll be checking in with Steve throughout the night. Good information there with 20 seconds to go here in the second. Sergio, who do you have winning this round? I really like what I'm seeing by both. Ray is really fighting hard, but Cologne is landing some clean, really good shots and investing in the body. See that, that check hook right there? Once again, it's a good fight, good scrap. Just like that. See, every time Ray is throwing a hard punch, Cologne responds with a hard punch of his own. What are you telling him in the corner then? What are you telling Pinpo? I'm telling him to double up on, on either the right hand or the left hand, but I'm not sure if he can do that. You gotta break the monotony of throwing left, right, left, right. Muy bien. Que necesitamos Nelson seguir metiendo la presión. Sé que no estás tirando un montón de golpes porque no te quieras quedar expuesto y que te toque. Entiendo lo que está pasando. Vamos a llevarlo. El mismo trabajo que está haciendo llevarlo. Hablando claro, tú sabes que este tipo tú lo no queda. Este tipo tú lo no queda, pero no puedes tirar la mata. Tenemos que tocarlo. Tenemos que seguir trabajando. Está bien. Wood, of course, is good. Why would he not be good? And here we're going to see Cologne doing some of that body work that I was talking about right there. And he came real nice up the middle with that uppercut. Sweet work by Cologne. And those are the shots that I'm looking at while I'm watching the fight. Reyes comes back, but it's those clean shots by Cologne that I'm catching my eye. Two rounds to go. Feels like this could be anyone's fight right now. Reyes with a lot of people here in attendance hasn't really given him a ton to cheer about but he's throwing home run shots yes he is and in Cologne's corner his trainer's telling him just that's touch him no home run just keep touching him that's good advice what's the best way to get a counter puncher to start throwing first fainting you gotta you gotta faint you know you gotta bait your opponent to do it and usually you can do it with foot faints foot faints are hand faints let him go let him go that's how you get your opponent to bite. You want to see what, what cards he's holding? You can throw a little quick thing with the feet, and he's going to show you exactly what he's thinking of countering you with. And from there, you counter the counter. Reyes loves the one-two. Every boxer loves the one-two. But you got to got him. Up. You switch it up. Sometimes with a double jab, throw the two downstairs. Double and triple up the jab. Right here, this is the way I want to see Colo I'm sorry, Ray is boxed. He's moving around, boxing behind the jab a little bit more. It's a shame this is only four rounds. That's the danger of these four-round fights. I mean, they go by really fast. But, I mean, there's a lot of energy, and you can... It, it's hard to stop a fighter in four rounds. At the top of the broadcast... Mentioned that your pro debut was in this very building, and you got dropped in that fight, and you got cut, but you still managed to win. How many rounds was that one? It was a four-round fight, and it was a split decision. I barely squeaked out, squeak out that decision. That's the danger of not only pro debuts in a big arena like this, but the fact that I was going for the knockout as well. Back then, I thought I was a power puncher. Then I realized quickly, if I'm going to last in this game, which I did, thank God, it was behind the jab and speed, foot speed. I had to use my 
my attributes. He became more of a slap and tickle kind of guy, didn't he? I'm about to slap and tickle you, Todd. And now, more than the one-two from Reyes. A big combination there. See, Colon's just concentrating on the body. He's letting Ray, Reyes uh, punch upstairs. He's blocking those shots. Colon's just looking to dig downstairs. And if the, the judges are liking what they see with those body shots and the cleaner shots of Colon, it's going to be an interesting decision in four rounds. Well, there's no doubt that Reyes has been the more active fighter, but the more accurate fighter, especially in this Colon. round. Especially in this round. Reyes has really boxed nicely, and you can see the cleaner shots uh, more effectively for Reyes here. Should set up a very intriguing round four here in Anaheim. Este güey va a salir por todos. Okay? Vamos a ser inteligentes. Vamos a dar el jab. Te va a tirar el doble. This man's going to come with everything in this next round. Y luego suéltale un jab fuerte. I want you to jab hard. I want you to hard jabs in his face. Vamos, mi hijo. Ándale. Let's go. Let's go. Sus combinaciones. Pa, 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 pa. Combinations and move. Don't stand in front of him. No vamos a tratar de noquearlo. Vamos a ganar la pelea. We're going to win this fight. Use your left. Intelligence. Muchos puntos, Nelson. Tenemos que hacer muchos puntos, ¿ok? Ahí arriba. No podemos dejarlo ya. No podemos tratar de noquearlo. Hay que hacer muchos puntos. Uno, dos, uno, abajo, abajo. Uno, dos, uno, abajo, abajo. ¿Ok? ¿Está bien? Uno, dos, uno, abajo, abajo. Uno, dos, uno, abajo, abajo. Vamos. They each had a, about a month training camp, six hours a day, six days a week, and it all comes down to just three minutes. Round four of four, Alejandro Reyes, unbeaten prospect in the blue trunks. Nelson Colon, four and one, fighting out of Puerto Rico, wearing white. Colon doing the right thing by trying to get in the inside. He's trying to, trying to get inside because Reyes is, has a two-inch reach advantage. A little taller, so in order to get in, he has to move his head and get on the inside. But well, Rez has been doing the smart thing by stepping back, looking for the counter now. Let's bring in Steve Smoger here quickly in round four. What have you seen, Steve? Excellent, excellent four-round fight. Two competitive kids. This may be a draw. I haven't been scoring it, but just from what I'm seeing. <laughs> Could be a draw. Stop, stop, stop. Don't punch, don't punch. Get back. Get back. Seems like it'd be a fair result if it ended right now, but still two minutes to go. Reyes has never gone to a decision. This is another good round by Reyes right here because he's fighting. He's not putting in a lot of power behind those shots. He's, he's fighting with speed now and not, not standing in front of Colon. And that's why these last two rounds have been easier to see the clean shots by Reyes. If he would have fought like that the first two rounds, then it probably would have been a, a one-sided fight. He seems to have figured out the distance a little better. Yeah, and he's, and he's boxing nicely now. He's not trying to penetrate the gloves. He's, he's uh, content with just lining the, the, the points on top of the gloves. But then Cologne comes right back with the harder shots. Just when Reyes was starting to get a lot of confidence, he ate a right hand up against the ropes from Cologne, who's very much in this fight. Stop! Let him up, let him up, don't punch. Let him up, let's go, stop, stop. Ray is training out of the West Side Boxing Club here in Los Angeles. Made his pro debut September 14th of last year, knocking out Jorge Padron in the second round on the undercard of Jaime Munguia's fight. Actually, that knockout got on World Star, Sergio. No, he's an exciting fighter when he has the combinations going, but look at what he's doing now. Now Reyes is in his elements. He's not standing against the ropes, keeping the fight in the middle of the ring, fighting behind a smart jab and getting the combinations off. This is what makes Alejandro Reyes special when he fights like this, when he's a boxer puncher. Reyes has never gone four rounds. In fact, he's never even been out of the second until tonight. That shot landed 10 seconds to go. 
Best round of the night for Reyes. Ruffalo, Ruffalo, Ruffalo. But did he do enough in the earlier three to get the nod? That will do it. What's your gut tell you? Is it Reyes or Cologne, Sergio? I like the way Reyes closed up the last two rounds. The first round, it's gonna it's gonna be tight, like it like always. The four round fights are difficult, but I think Alejandro Reyes looked really good in the last two rounds. Nelson Cologne's corner, very confident that it was the 23 year old from Puerto Rico who did enough. Or like Steve Smoger said, this looks like it could be a draw as well. Jump into our replays here from this four rounder. See right there, that was a lazy jab by Reyes. Early in the fight, he wanted to land the harder shots, not really focusing on keeping that distance. And Colon was just trying to break that distance, which he did successfully right there with a half punch, half push right there. But he was getting some solid body work like he did right there and coming up with an uppercut. A Mike Tyson specialty right there. Reyes digging down as well. Anytime Colon was getting good shots, it was Reyes coming right back. But the last two rounds, Alejandro Reyes found out that it's smarter to box on the outside of the jab, not let Colon get inside. Don't give him anything to punch at. And get away with his decision. Good body shot right there by Colon. Back comes Reyes. It's going to be difficult for the judges, Todd. Oh, hey, oh. Joe Martinez has the scorecards. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards, and here are the totals. Both Rudy Barragan and Carla Caiz have it 40 to 36. Max DeLuca scores it 39-37. For your winner by unanimous decision, se mantiene invicto, and he is still undefeated from Mexicali, Baja California, Mexico, Alejandro. Forty thirty six, no love for Nelson Colon, but that's that's what the judges saw. They liked the activity of Reyes, not the cleaner punching of Colon in the first two rounds, but I agree with the judges in the last two rounds. Rounds three and four was all Alejandro Reyes. Plenty to work on, obviously, for Alejandro Reyes. He's still a young buck. What's the first thing you do in the gym with him next time he steps in there? Well, first I will sit him down and have him look at the third and the fourth round because that's how he's going to extend his career. That's how he's going to get on the inside and let the, land the shots he was trying to land in the first two rounds. But in the first two rounds, your opponent's just as fresh as you, looking for the big shots as well. So fight behind the jab, concentrate on speed and smart distance. But he's one to keep your eye on? Oh, absolutely. No, no. He uh, When he gets his hands going, the combinations are nice to look at. Still to come tonight, it is our four-fight main event. The first fight right out of the gates.